sperm whale just fucking gross. So I finally decided to actually watch this show called Squid Game. Because I remember a lot of you keep asking me, oh, why hasn't Samuel watched Squid Game? Why hasn't this guy watched Squid Game to review on it yet? Because it's fucking stupid. It's the stupidest fucking bullshit I ever heard in my life. I fucking watched a show about some, some characters from, uh... I mean, I watched fucking shit in, uh, South Korea... Uh, a couple of movies I like called A Company Man. I thought that was pretty fucking underrated. A lot of you don't know what that movie is, but you should go watch it, though. It's actually pretty entertaining to watch. Especially the ending part of the movie. Like I said, uh, A Company Man. A Company Man. Go go watch that movie. It's a pretty good South Korean movie. Uh, but this... Uh, I, I find this to be overrated. It's just some assholes in fucking green jumpsuits running around like idiots not trying to die in a game. It's pretty corny to me, but I finally reviewed the show. Yes, the Squid Game Challenge Show. Yeah, you probably thought I reviewed the actual TV show, the actual movie that came out on on Netflix. No, I actually reviewed, you know, that that game show they came out with for uh for the Squid Game, this uh, challenge reality show they came out with. So, I watched it with this uh this girl and. She was like, you, uh, you know, I always wanted to watch this show. You mind watching it with me? I was like, yeah, sure. Why not? I mean, I'm just being nice because I don't want to feel like I feel like a decade about it. So I'm like, yeah, sure. Let's watch it. You know, you know, I know what's going to happen because I'm not gonna really going to like it that much. So I jump right into it with her and started watching it. And it's basically like the show, but instead of people dying, you just, I mean... They make believe they get killed off because there's like a, a button in their shirt or something like that, and they hit this button and this big paintball blows up in their shirt and they're like they're dead and they, they gotta play dead because once the thing blows up in your shirt that means you're dead you got laid down like a, a dead motherfucker. That's how it works because the show people get killed off in the show, but in reality this challenge show you had to make believe you're dead. Because once the thing blows up your shirt, that means you're dead and you, you lost. You can't get $4 million. That's right, $4 million. You have to win $4 million. But you got to beat all these other motherfuckers, like 300 people in this game. 300 people in this challenge reality game. Challenge reality game show. It's like 300 fucking people. I think it's more than that. I don't know how many. And it took like hours and hours and hours to film this shit. It took six fucking hours to film this red light, green light challenge. You know where the, the part where they got to stop once you know the head stops spinning around the uh, the South Korean girl head. She says like, head just spins around. If she catches you fucking running, you would die. And you know when you'll win the money. They they took like six hours to film that shit. Six fucking hours. Six hours. Why the fuck did it take six hours to film? Are you kidding me? Like, what the fuck? Who who who, does, who who came up with this idea? What are they thinking? Six fucking hours? Are they insane? Just to film that one green light, red light bullshit? No fucking way. I, I would never did this shit. No way. For four million dollars to just do that for six goddamn hours for just one number one challenge? Well, I mean, the first challenge, not number one challenge. The first challenge? Are you, fuck out of here. I'm not doing that bullshit. Especially... Especially around like 300 other fucking people. I had to wear this some this goofy ass fucking uh, jumpsuit, the green jumpsuit. I don't want to wear that shit. That's not my style. I I hate wearing that type of clothes. But you know, you had no choice. You know, you had no choice to wear that because you know that's part of the game. But still, I, I fucking hate wearing. I, I would hate wearing that shit and be around all those fucking goons and goofballs and wussies. There's a lot of fucking wussies in this challenge game. Lots of crybabies. Like one of these guys, I think named Spencer. Yeah, I remember. I remember his fucking name. That's fucking sad, isn't it? It's fucking sad. This this one dude almost fucking threw up because he's he's a fucking whiny, 
a whiny two-year-old pussy baby. I, I swear to God, this dude like almost threw up. He's like he's about to be like. Bleh. I'm like, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? Why is he even there? Why would you sign up for this shit? You know it's gonna be just like the fucking show. Why would you be there in the fucking first place? Even though what's going to happen? These these motherfuckers. I I don't get it. I understand is it, you want to win four million dollars, but it, if you know if you watch the TV show, if you watched it, why sign up for it? You you know well you know you, you got yourself into. Fucking idiots! I I swear these these fucking dumbasses. Oh, because the money. Fuck that bullshit. There's there's other options you can get four million dollars. You can go to some other game show. There's different game shows you can go on to. Go to Real Fortune or something. If they let let your goofy ass on there, I don't fucking know. Price is right. Uh, you know I don't know. I don't I don't think they uh, give you four million dollars from Price is Right or Real Fortune. Maybe I don't know. I don't fucking know. I haven't watched those shows in ages, so I can't really tell you about any of those shows. Then you got these other people. Uh, this mama's boy with his mom on the show. Those like the two of them on the show. Him and his, his mom. She looked like Jamie Lee Curtis, and he always talked about his mom. Oh, my mommy's on here. Oh, baby, baby, my mommy's with me. And grow the fuck up, you big baby. Like, is this like still wearing a goddamn diaper or something like that? He, he probably, she probably changed his diaper like between fucking uh, cuts of the, the fucking show or something because. You got you got your fucking mom on the show with you. Like, is that is that really necessary? You got your mom on there with you. You can't just be a man and do the game by yourself. You gotta get your mom on there with you too. Give you kisses on your forehead like SpongeBob from that grandma episode. These motherfuckers. You got the I got the fucking puking boy. And you got this motherfucker on here talking about his mom all goddamn day, getting kissy kissy boo boos on his forehead. Holy shit! <laughs> this shit just gets better and fucking better. Like honestly, you can't make this shit up. I'm being fucking dead ass serious about this. This is this is the show. These are the fucking people on the show. You got one motherfucker about to puke everywhere. You got this other asshole talking about his fucking mom all day. What the fuck is going on here? Well, what's next? Like what's fucking next? What what could get worse than that? I mean, it does get fucking worse. I mean, dude, there's there's other assholes on the show besides that. Got this other asshole looks like Drake. The, you know, the singer, he looks just like him or something like that. I'm like, what the fuck is Drake doing here? He's gonna start singing about his fucking corny ass songs or something? Then you got uh, this uh, chubby blonde girl. She uh, rats on one of the, the Indian dudes or something like that because some asshole on the microphone said, hey, you can kill off a player if you want to. He sat around the microphone with this uh, her and this hillbilly guy are cutting baby carrots talking to each other and they're about to fuck each other and all of a sudden this guy on the intercom saying you know you can, you can just kill off this guy if you want to you can kill him off the show if you want and you're like oh yeah sure let's kill this Indian guy I mean that's pretty fucked up you kill the Indian guy he's so nice and friendly to everybody that's why you should be a quiet person that's why I'm a quiet person you know you don't fucking go around talking to everybody and shit you know what's gonna happen especially you're on a game show fucking idiot I'm not talking to people and shit. What do you think is going to happen? So you're out. You lose. Don't be. Don't be a. Don't be a nice guy. Nice guys finish last. Fucking idiot. And let's let, let's just let you know. I watched like two episodes of this shit. Two episodes. That's all I watched. I was like, all right, that that's enough. I don't want to keep watching this. You know. I mean, there's more shit. I mean, there's like more weirder shit going on in this show. Like, after the whole, you know, red light, green light bullshit, that kindergarten shit, rock, paper, scissors, uh, uh, wheels of bus go round and round, or fuck it, uh, musical chair shit, after all that bullshit, then you got, uh, the second round where these fucking grown ass men and women fight over, uh, a shape on the wall, which that's part of the show too. Grown ass people fight over a shape on the wall, and they fuck up twice, these four people that are in line. Going to these shapes. There's like four shapes. There's like there's a star, there's a circle, there's a square, and there's a umbrella, which that's like the hardest one because the show is like it's really hard to like get that out. Some about you know you gotta cut the the cookie shape out of the out of the circle or something like that. We'll get to that soon. But let's, let's go back to the other thing I was talking about. So you got these four grown man babies fighting over a fucking shape on the wall I'm like come on bro what are you doing bro it's my, my, it's my shape bro what are you doing get your feet by shape bro and they fuck up twice four of those guys fuck up twice two times in a row one time they all get killed off the second one they all get killed off the third time 
it's when the Spencer guy comes in. You know, this guy about to puke or so, all the time or something like that. He, he almost tried to puke. He comes on there and he was like, "No, I don't want to go on the umbrella." And I swear to God, this is how they're acting on the show. This is exactly how they're acting on the show. They act like fucking five year olds. And I can completely understand because this whole game is basically made for five year olds. And then this Drake looking guy, you know, the singer Drake, he looks just like him. He was telling a Spencer, he's like, look, bro, just go in the star, bro. Wait, well, not that star. Go on the umbrella, bro. I, I know it's really hard, bro, but you gotta go in the star, bro. Go on the uh, umbrella, bro. And he's like, huh? <laughs> okay, I'm going on here, but you're gonna hate me for it. He put his hand on it. Then nobody dies, and now teams, there's four teams. They gotta go to the umbrella, they gotta go to the star, they gotta go to the square, they gotta go to the circle. And everyone. Everyone had to go to the umbrella, and they're all pissed off with Spencer. One calls, calls him an idiot. One calls him a douchebag. Call him all these names. And well, what else choice he that he had? What else he wanted to do? These other assholes already got the other one already. They run faster than his goofy ass. We want him to do. So now it gets fucking weirder. So now during this room, it's like like I said, some kindergarten shit going on here with this. Like it's just really fucking weird. Grown and grown ass people playing kindergarten shit. And they're licking cookies. They're like licking cookies. Like there's like a shape of cookie. Like I said, there's a circle, there's a square, there's a star in the umbrella. And they're licking it. I'm like, this is very inappropriate. Like this is some kind of sick, twisted porn or something like that. It's like some gay porn, some normal porn. I don't know what's going on. There's a lot of licking going on here. And it's getting really fucking weird. And this part of the game, you gotta be mad patient. Very, very patient because you, like I said, you got this little teeny, uh, tiny little knife nail thing or something. You got cut around the shape without fucking breaking the cookie. If you break the cookie, you die, and you lose, and game over. You're not gonna get no fucking four million goddamn dollars. So you gotta be nice and careful so you don't fucking break it like a motherfucking piece of shit. You gotta be nice and careful. You gotta have lots and lots of patience if you wanted to do this perfectly right. You can't you can't do it perfectly right. You, you, you fuck it up. That's it. It's over. There's there is no second tries. It's basically YOLO. You're out. You're you're gone for. Hasta la vista, baby. So you fuck up, that's it. And like like I said, the easiest one is the circle one, the hardest one is the umbrella. And that's where Spencer's at. Spencer loses because he's a dork. And he falls to the ground where he's about to puke everywhere, which I don't think he pukes at all. He keeps, like, bluffing about it. So he cries like a little wimpy baby on the ground about it. But most people get fucking out because they can't cut open a shape of a fucking cookie. It's it's too aggravating. I'll, I'll never be on this type of show. Never. No, I don't want to be around all these fucking weirdo people. I want to say nothing to these anybody's people. I want, I'll be quiet by myself, you know, people will try to bother me and try to talk to me and shit, I'll still tell them to fuck off. You know, I'd probably make things worse, they'd probably be like, alright, let's kick this guy off the show and get him killed off. I'm like, oh, I'll be like, oh, fuck me. So I gotta play it fucking smart and try to win this whole $4 million money. Because, you know, like I said, I have, I can't play these type of games because, you know, I have zero patience for these motherfuckers. I have zero patience. I'm like a six foot three Joe Pesci. I, I don't have no, no patience for these motherfuckers. I have no patience to play these type of games or deal with these stupid fucking people. I don't have time for all this shit. I, no way. I will, I will never do this type of thing. Ever. I would I rather play like Wheel of Fortune or uh, Price is Right or Let's Make a Deal. I'll, I'll dress like a fucking idiot and let's make a deal to be on this fucking goofy ass game with all this kindergarten shit. <laughs> make you drink, you probably make you drink uh, milk out of a cart and me go le- sleep on the ground like a little baby. I mean, there's like a whole bunch of bunk beds you, you, you get to sleep on in the game or something like that, in the Squid Game. They all, there's like all these big ass bunk beds for all these people to sleep in, though. But I'm surprised they don't sleep on the ground like little fucking kindergartners with blinkies and shit and fucking bingies in their mouth. I'm surprised here. Like, everything's like, the whole fucking game is like full of for fucking five year olds and they act like five year olds. All these grown-ups act like five-year-olds, dude. Fighting over a fucking uh, a, a square and a, and a circle. Had to cut open a cookie. You know, like, licking it and shit. It's like, what the fuck is going on? Uh, I, I'm, not, I'm, not into, I'm not into this weird shit. I'm, just, I'm not into all that. 